And we're back with The Day with Trey. Our next guest was a previous guest on We Live in Color, but I'm happy to have him in here today. Your real estate king, Trey King. How you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm doing good, Deontay. How are you? Good. good. So great to have you back in the studio. You, you know, when we first, when you first came in here, you were just starting off doing yeah. real estate. Mm -hmm. And here we are a year and a half in. Yeah. How is it? Actually, what, two, two and a half? Two, two, well, two I guess, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been really great. It's been great. It's been very fast paced. You know, it's been, it's been a, a whole journey, you know, I can say. Um, but I've helped a lot of families in the past couple of years, you know, uh, since I've been an actual full-time real estate agent. And being able to see the look on people's faces the day that I can give them the keys to their home, especially families or single people, single women who didn't think that it was a reality for them, um, being able to bring that to fruition for them has been phenomenal. And you've been able to do that all around King County, correct? Yeah, King County, Pierce County, and Snohomish County are the areas that I kind of focus on. Because I work with a large buying pool, um, I kind of go wherever my clients have the money. <laughs> okay. And wherever they can afford it. Right. We know here it can be kind of, you know. And then having to walk them through that process, what are some of the tips that you can give community yeah. folks through that process? Honestly, you know, it's kind of a part of doing what I'm doing already, which is just providing education. I think the biggest thing that you can do is get started, get in touch with an agent, a lender, and start the conversation, right? A lot of times people feel like it's a far-fetched dream or they, you know, they don't have enough money, they can't afford it, whatever the case may be, but the reality is it's very doable and there's so many resources that are out there available for people to make it a reality. And so get educated, speak with somebody, and even if it's a six month or a 12 month, you know, time frame that it takes to kind of map out a plan, at least, you know, we can help guide you through that. And so at the end of that 12 month process, you know, we can start looking for a home for you. See, see I'm nervous because see, one of the things that my, well, my family was talking about was like buying, but your credit being bad. How it's, how, how do we, how do you get to walk through that process? Yeah. How do you help them through that? So process? that's definitely, a lot of times people will reach out to me first, right? And so I kind of do an intake call with them to figure out what their goals are, where they, where they feel their challenges may be. Um, and if they have an idea of what their credit may be and whatnot. And so from there, then I set them up with the appropriate person that's gonna be able to help them. So if, it, if they are having money issues or if they are having credit issues that they know about, then I set them up with a repair cre uh, credit repair service, right? To kind of go through that planning stage of figuring out what we need to do to tackle it. Um, but the reality is with homeowning, like you can get into a home with a credit score as low as, what is it? Five eighty, I think, and sometimes even lower than that. So okay, five eighty. There's, there's options. Yeah, that might be yeah, a homer. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I also love about what well, I, I really appreciate those tips. Community members really need to know some of those things, yeah. and that's why I think that what I love about what you have been doing in community is getting community members engaged, not just by yeah. coming to look at the open houses, mm -hmm. but you've really been stepping out the box. Can you I tell have. community about some of the things you've been doing? Yeah, so I've, it, for me it's been really fun being able to merge, um, merge entertainment, merge things that we constantly do, right? Nightlife, cocktails here and there, you know, mm -hmm. even stuff to like the arts. And so being able to um, bridge a gap of uh, education and home ownership with things that are entertaining for people. Um, so creating a lot of um, events surrounded around entertainment, things that are fun, but bringing education into it in a fun way yeah. as well to make it less intimidating for people. And, and I appreciate you for that. You know, I brought up, the, like impromptu, I just brought up yeah. we, li we Live in Color because I thought about, I thought about you and what you did throughout the summer you were at almost every Pride event, yeah. um, and uh, just watching you guys, some of our community members yeah. with getting housed, um, yeah. like I just thought that that was just great to just yeah. be out there. I've seen you and maybe a couple of other realtors, but mainly you. Yeah, I try to be at a lot of different events, especially if there's like farmer's markets or um, I don't know, any, any opportunity that I feel like I can find for um, me to be able to get in front of more people um, and just educate, you know, as to what I do and the service that I can bring to them. Because as I go to different things, just as a patron, you know, and a mm -hmm. community member, 
Um, I don't see people that do the things that I necessarily do, or at least advertise, you know? Um, and so having representation, you know, in these spaces, I think is important, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> and you be represented. <laughs> I try. So tell us about Drag Me Home. <laughs> so Drag Me Home was an idea that I came up, uh, that I came up with last year. And again, me being black, me being in the LGBT community, um, I wanted to find a way that I can bring the two things that I love together, which is, yeah, I like to be outside and be social and whatnot, but I also have a career and I, that I love. Um, and so I wanted to figure out a way to make it fun for people, right? Um, and so last year, I ended up partnering with some good people, some lenders, and created an event that incorporated food, alcohol, you know, for people, um, entertainment, and then a little bit of education yeah. as well. So, okay, so what day is the Drag Me, drag me Home So day? Drag Me Home this year, um, so currently I have one planned, and that's next month on the 22nd of February from 7 to 9 at Julia's. Okay, 7 to 9 at Julia's. Oh, yeah, that's on, on Broadway. Julia's on Broadway. Okay, we yep, gotta say yep. the difference. Yeah, well, I'll be there with Jessica Talton, um, and uh, we're gonna have Versace Doll, which is the local drag queen. Um, we have some sponsorships by Urban League, uh, which is great because I'm going to start uh, partnering with them to teach their down, well, to teach down payment assistance uh, classes for people. Why is, okay, congratulations on that and shout out to the Urban Thank League. Thank you. Um, why is that important? Why is down payment assistance training yeah. important? For so it's really important. So as we look at, as we look at statistics, um, the gap of black home ownership isn't necessarily getting better, right? There's a lot of different factors for that, um, but one of the biggest is home prices, right? And it just not being, it, it being very expensive, I guess I could say, right? So having resources like down payment assistance, having programs that are out there specifically for minorities um, is super important to make getting into home ownership a reality for a lot of people. Yeah, and I, and I, I, I really appreciate Urban League's continuing to be innovative yeah. and then just adding you on is just a great Yeah, yeah, <laughs> great no, it's, it's been great. And then these classes, I'm gonna start doing, well, those are gonna be monthly. So after Drag Me Home, I'll have monthly classes with Urban League. Um, it's a five hour class, but it allows you to get your uh, certificate for down payment assistance. Wow, that is amazing, y'all heard it here first. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you have another event coming up. With, well, I know Coach is coming next, but you yes. have another event coming up with yes, Coach. Yes, 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 I have Git fit with gigs um, and so that's one that's an event that I kind of wanted to add on um, be an add-on to right because for me it's really important to show up in spaces where there already is community but they may just be you know intimidated by the idea of home ownership yeah and so I know coach is a very um, integral part of the community he's kind of involved in everything and so it was important for me to um, talk to him and kind of do something where I can bring the education of home ownership to his audience as well. So on the yeah. 17th, I'll be there and getting fit with Coach Gates. I think it's a, <laughs> I think it's just a great event to put together. Y'all both are working in community. Yeah. And yes, I've seen y'all in the same spaces, yeah. but just to to see how this can come together, yeah. I'm really community is really excited it about is. it. Okay. Yes, I'm excited. So in the meantime. Before we get out of here, I just want to thank you, one, for coming on, but also look in that camera and let community know about your events, how yes. they can support your events, and how can they find you. Thank you. So you can find me on Instagram at Your Real Estate King, also on Facebook um, at Trayvon King. And on my Instagram, I have a link tree which has all the events and all the things that I'll be a part of. I'll be on the 10th, I will be at the scene in South Park for a um, black market where they'll be highlighting um, different entrepreneurs, different black entrepreneurs that are in the area. And then I'll have Get Fit with Coach on the 17th of February. Um, and then I have Drag Me Home on the 22nd of February at Julia's and a lot more after that. So follow me on Instagram to keep up. I know, that you said to keep up. To keep yes. up, okay? Keep up <laughs> Thank you me. so much, my friend. Thank you. And we will be back with Coach on the day with Trey.